In the last video, we saw how incredibly useful this uh, this DBG, this debug macro is. It uh, you know it takes what uh, the expression you give it and uh, says, okay, this is what you did to make it, and this is the result, and that is uh, really useful. Uh, however, there's one uh, you know you can't use it inside of a, an iterator, and I'll just show you. Um, well, we had this. Uh, let's uh, new vec equals vec. Let's see, eight, nine, ten. So we had this uh, this thing before, and we uh, we iterated over it, and we were we were mapping, and then uh, we made it into a new vec. And uh, what you can you can't do, you know, this because uh, for one, you know, this this macro is not uh, is not uh, an iterator method, and uh, also, you know, what are you going to give it here? You have to put something in there, and you can't just write like. Nine. There's there's no closure, so you can't do like uh, debug x x. So that is not going to work either. So for this, uh, the way you do uh, the way you you know take a look at what's going on in your uh, iterators is you uh, you use this method called inspect, and inspect is uh, here it is. So it just uh, it takes the thing uh, that you give it, and you have a closure, and you do whatever you want. And then it just passes it on unchanged. So uh, it looks, you know, exactly like um, kind of like this, except for you'll you'll be you know printing or doing doing whatever, and uh, it's not going to change anything. So you you just you know slip it in wherever you want. You can slip it in there, or you can map. You can slip it in again. So uh, let's see, where is that example? Uh, there it is. So we will. Um, it's the same example, except this time we are going to slip in some inspect. So we have this double vec equals new vec dot iter. So here comes uh, here comes the first inspect. So uh, you know we just made into an iterator. Uh, let's call it uh, first item, and let's just uh, actually let's just do a print line for now. So we'll say uh, the item is something, and then uh, let's see first item so that is going to uh, you know tell us what that is and then uh, then we're going to map it and uh, multiply it by two and then here comes another one and next item and we are going to do the same thing um, we'll do that and we'll say then it is then it is and then next item which is the name we chose to give it and then we collect it into vec and uh, then you'll see, let's see, there it is. So it, uh, it tells us the, you know, the item is eight, then it is 16. So it's going through this, uh, this process every time. And, uh, you know, first we're starting with this eight. So it tells us about this, then it tells us what it, what it becomes, then it goes to the nine and so on. So it's, uh, it's not giving us the result. It's giving us, uh, you know the what's going on every step of the way and of course because we have a closure we can do a lot of uh, more complicated stuff so you can put in uh, you know some brackets there and you know you could, uh, you could debug it as well let's uh, let's do that I have a, uh, a second a second example coming up here that does a lot more so we'll just uh, you know here it is uh, of course with debug it goes into the uh, the standard error, so it's it's not next to it anymore. So it's uh, you know it's better to just use a print line both times here. Uh, but uh, so let's uh, let's do this again, except uh, let's get a lot more information. So we'll take that double vec again, uh, new vec, and this time we will. This is the same, but then we are going to do some complex uh, inspection, and we are going to say first item and then uh, what are we going to do first let's print it out let's say the item is and then first item and then we are going to uh, let's match it and uh, this uh, match first item we're going to see if it's uh, even or odd and by the way this is going to um, give us a, uh, a reference of a reference so we're going to need to do that, but I'm going to take it out first so uh, we can see the, the error message. So it's going to be, uh, let's see, zero or, 
you know, or one. And then we'll just say print line, it is even. And then if not, we'll say otherwise, we know it's only, only going to be a one, but uh, you know, this could be uh, anything from, from rest point of view. So we will say uh, it is odd. And then uh, let's put a little thing down here again, and we'll say uh, in binary it is, and then we will uh, remember binary. You have these uh, instead of that debug printing, you have that. Uh, you remember B is binary. Uh, this is uh, octal uh, hex. There's a pointer uh, if you have a reference, but uh, we will choose B for binary and first item, and do that. And then finally, we will uh, map, and then we're going to x times 2, and then we will collect into the uh, vec of i32s, like that. And so you can see, you can uh, you know, inspect is also really useful. Um, uh, yeah, here's the, uh, here's the message I, I told you about. So... Uh, you can dereference, uh, it's saying we should dereference this, and because there are two of them, we're going to uh, dereference it twice. So this is going to work now. And there you can see it goes through uh, every item, you know, it is even, then it says, hey, by the way, in binary, it's this, uh, it's odd, even odd, and then it, uh, you know, it does that for every, every step of the way. So inspect is also your new best friend. So if you have a debug and inspect, that, uh, that can tell you a lot about uh, what's going on with your code. And you don't have to do weird things like, uh, I don't know, declaring variables and, and, uh, or like cutting your code short and, and uh, doing it over multiple lines. You can just uh, tie it all together uh, really neatly and uh, just uh, slip inspect in there and you can see what's going on.